Hello there fellow survivalists and welcome back to another episode of House of Ashes. This is a fun game. I like this. It's nice and chill, isn't it? It's obviously it's just a full on like cinematic. Then you do your little actions. Yeah, you're walking around a bit as well, but it's it's mainly just sit back, relax and enjoy join the game really. And as a story un unfolds. Uh but yeah, we'll just stop waffling on. What further ado? Let's Crack on! Get it together. My name is Lieutenant Colonel Eric King of the United States Air Force. I'm a chief nuclear engineer of the Iraq Survey Group, tasked with locating hidden chemical weapons. Our mission has uncovered something unexpected. I will now begin an autopsy of an unidentified life form. That's the last one. Should at least slow them down. Long enough to spot them on the cameras. Didn't really do that down here. It's already bloody fallen a bit, isn't it? We should reset that trip wire. Give me a hand. We've been in some fucked up situations before. Oh, never as fucked as this. If I gotta fight these things, there's no one else I would want by my side. I've always got your back. You know I always got your we'll back, We'll try and be buddy. nice to people. Come with me. We're gonna forget about that. I bet you we have to... Run back this way, and then we're gonna just blow ourselves up, aren't we? <laughs> this is something else. You don't think? I wonder how many places like this we've bombed without a second thought. These relics are better off in the dust. What's your problem? These people didn't ask for this war. You attacked our country. Well, I don't remember them showing much respect for New York City a couple of years back. So now all brown people gotta suffer, that it? That's not what I meant. You know me better than that. Yeah, I thought I did. Oh, so this is all set I'm after is the World Trade Center attack, eh? Yeah? I presume right? that's what it means by that. Does it now? When we're back home, we'll laugh about it. Yeah, maybe you can tell me how you feel about us black folks. Mailman 2 one actual, this is Dropkick. Request update, over. Two an actual receiving. Cameras are green and the holes have been demolished. Over. Good work, Lieutenant. Straight through the eastern corridor and be on your guard. Over. I hear you. Over and out. At approximation, the creature is eight feet tall, bipedal, winged. Wing webbing appears to be affixed to its forelimbs into the digits of its hands. Epidermis looks to be smothered in some sort of excretion. Underneath it is diseased almost. The creature is starting to rapidly decompose in death. Drop kick, this is mailman 21 actual. Approaching Eastern Passage. Over. I see you. Christ, these doors took a hammer and those things must have come through here in force. Whoever manned that weapon took a stand and held them off. Before they got massacred from behind. 
These creatures aren't dumb. They're predators. Bet your bottom dollar if they came this way before, they could come again. Fortify the temple. You've got character uh, movement now. As usual, going dead slow down the stairs. <laughs> Wait. It's very rare, rare that we get to use our character. What's down here? There's a big hole. Loads of bones. Been to hell. Absolutely loads of I wonder if they just shot people down there. Those are a hole above that. No, there isn't. Oh. Fair enough. Loads of bones here, like in the big crypt. Got a bit of, uh, what's that? Got a secret there. You deserve that. Pretty sure those creatures didn't do this. Who did? I don't know. Buffy? Who? Maybe you should hold on to that. He's on about Buffy the Vampire Slayer, I presume. I'll stick to the right of sure. Never know when you're going to need a sharpened stick, right? It's always good. Sharpened stick is always sometimes better than a, a rifle. It's going to be one of them videos blowing a hole through the rock face we found a gateway to a strange world below a phosphorescence emanated from beneath casting its eldritch light over us all lady bradshaw was insistent that we descend further perhaps mary is right and bradshaw is becoming reckless and uncontrollable but i can't stop thinking about what's down there I am now working with Crow and Pullman to set up a winch and elevator to descend into the shaft. What mysteries lie below, I wonder, undisturbed by the world above. Mm. What's that? It says they found something weird down here. Yeah, no mm. shit. No, I was just about to say that. No shit. This on here, another little secret, is it? What's that? Shotgun shell? More crap. What'd you find? Nothing that's gonna get us out of here. Right now, I couldn't give a crap if it was the crown jewels of England. Mm. That didn't register. Yeah, it did. Perfect. This looks like a good choke point. Any of those freaks coming up from below are sure to pass through here. Set some charges? Yeah. Yeah, rig these pillars for maximum coverage. More likely to see the trip wires, though. You think those things can tell a difference? We shouldn't underestimate them. We mine the sides. We're more likely to catch them out. Smaller spread, but the explosives are better hidden. What do you think? We'll put them in the middle. Those things are devious fuckers. You're right. We plant the charges to the side of the hall. All right. They won't see this one coming. I can hear your brain taking away. What is it? Should have given her a second warning. Fuck, man, I wish I hadn't asked. I'm through talking about this. Yeah? What's left to say? 
You know that checkpoint was a prime target for suicide bombers. We had to act in the moment. We had to make a call. It was the wrong call. Why is it that no one ever tells us straight? Everyone just makes a bullshit to get by. That's why we're in the sandbox in the first place, right? I just want the truth, Jason. Shooting that woman messed with my head. You seriously gonna tell me it didn't mess with yours, man? We fucked up. <laughs> we fucked up. If we make it out of here, we'll face up to that. If we die down here, maybe it's what we deserve. You know I was seeing Rachel. Are you serious? Been three weeks. It's armed. Dropkick, this is Mailman 21 Actual. We're at a stairwell leading down into a maze. Please advise, over. Acknowledged. Pull back now and secure the perimeter. Drop kick out. Mount a camera here. Let's head back. Who's this? Oh, it looks like Rachel, isn't it? Is it Rachel? Oh, yeah, it is. She's alive. Oh. Covered in blood. <laughs> Done yourself this time, puppy dog. Nick, Jason, oh shit. Regroup with the Allied forces and escape the chasm. At least we're sort of running a lot quicker than walking. Um, I presume we don't need to go any of that. <laughs> Can't you just like climb on the side? Won't that be a lot easier? Not behind us. Secret here, whatever it is. Helmet, is it? Hmm. Where's that gone? Hey, bro. <laughs> Quickly get out of here. The hell? Stupid bats. Can you go forward? Oh, I can't control it yet. No, I can't. Thank you. Just like that. A water of blood, isn't it? You got a bone. <laughs> you doing?
Like this torch she's made, it's not gonna last long because you haven't got that like chemical on, have you? What what just burns on a normal torch? She's just used rags, hasn't she? What things behind us anyway, isn't it? Imagine if I could see it there. <laughs> I'd be like, oh shit. Is that light? No, that is there. Oh god, behind us. That big fan. Can we walk up here? I don't know. We're just following the path. Or is this one of the uh, video again? No. Not really fussed about them. <laughs> so basically the story was We've invaded Iraq. I'm trying to find like a silo. But the ground swallowed us up and we've ended up in this big massive ancient um thing. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. Archaeological archaeology site thing. Is that a word? And then there's a big massive like monster. Or I won't say monster. There's quite a few of these bat monsters. It looks like we're just trying to find our way out now. Pretty long this tunnel like, isn't it? There we go. That's behind us. Oh, that looks like a bad boy. How does all that catch light? Oh. Run. Now, go. Where have you like where have you come from? <laughs> Just, just like a random person just in there. The creature has powerful claws and fangs formed from hardened and identifiable tissue. Two of the incisors appear grossly malformed and discolored. Oddly out of place. The membrane surrounding the specimen seems to originate from its mouth. Blood is like nothing I've seen. I'll now perform a UV sweep to further inspect the fluids. Oh, who's that behind us? Cool check, is that you? Guess it isn't like UV light then. Well, we've figured that out anyway. Looks like a line out. Maybe we can get the radio working and send a signal out. It's worth a shot. A long shot. Oh, we don't even know if there's a working transmitter on the surface. Those wires gotta go somewhere, though. You think they still work? Well, looks to me like they just snagged up. 
Don't feel much like climbing out there. <laughs> What the fuck, Joey? Who are the others? And zombie? Shit, Joey, it's me! But he's been deformed, hasn't he? In his heart. Boosh! Oh my god. Hmm, that doesn't sound too uh, good. So the humans can actually change into them now then, eh? Because he had like, um, an we have to hurry. ten eye things it's coming out of his head. Yeah, me either. What was that thing? I don't know. Whatever it is, it's not alone. Where have you been? One of those things got its dirty hands on me, dragged me down here, left me for dead. Fuck. Fuck doesn't even start to cut it. I'm lucky to have gotten away. <laughs> You're talking to a scientist. There's no such thing as luck. You should be thankful I was there to help you. I'm grateful. I'm really grateful. Thank you. Semper Fi. We gotta find a way out of this hole. So, this is where you've been hiding out. Do you have any weapons? Uh, do you mind? Just need some batteries for this damn light. You could just ask. That ever cross your mind? Looks painful. Yeah. It is. Think you can keep still? I'm glad you're here. It's all be yeah. friends in this situation, eh? Guess I'm a little glad too. Saw those same symbols in the shepherd's huts. Those people must have been in the valley a long time. <coughs> There's a way up. There's no way we're making it. Look at it. It's barely climbable. We can make it together. How did I know you were going to say that? I met Eric in climbing glass. I can get us out of here. <laughs> Something funny you want to share? This place is fucked. We are so fucked, we don't stand a chance. You keep that to yourself. I'm going to get through this, and if you want to, you better try and keep up.
Right. You okay? Yeah, just need a minute. A minute isn't gonna kill us. Until it does. God, you look terrible. Gee, thanks, Rachel. You ever think about going into motivational speaking? Seriously, though, are you okay? That's gotta be about the dumbest question I have ever been asked. Give me the silent treatment, huh? What do you want me to say? I don't know. Something to get our minds off this place. Okay. So why'd you become a physicist? I mean, you don't... I don't look the type? Well, you don't. Oh, should I be wearing nerd clothes? That's not what I meant. You just don't strike me as one. Science was the furthest thing from what everybody thought I'd do. Something just for me. I know a little something about that. You do? I'm seeing someone else. I'm seeing someone else. You don't seem surprised. Nick, right? That obvious? Huh. Does Eric know? Yeah. Yeah, he does know. I guess I just wanted to let go. It would be someone new. Hey. You do know this story. What did that thing do to you? Please! Please don't leave me down here alone! It's okay. I'm here. I promise that you'll stay with me. Is she gonna be dead anyway? It's like she's turned into a zombie? I promise. But you have to tell me. What did that thing do to you? There's medication up there. It may help you, but we need to move now. <clears throat> Give me your hand. side of the chasm. We'll never make it. <laughs> Don't quit on me now. <laughs> we have to swing over. That rope won't hold. Wait! Do you really believe those medicines will help me? Keep it together, Clarice. We're almost there. You didn't answer my question. Where I see it? It's your only hope. We can do this. She's a goner. We'll help her. Why not her? She's gonna die. But... I what this means. I will. I'm out of that. At least when she dies, we've... Sort of helped her. 
You okay? <coughs> that answer your question? We need to get you to the temple. <laughs> 